The first fire races through a home on Detroit's west side, trapping an elderly woman who has Alzheimer's until her son comes to the rescue. Glad you're with us tonight at 11. A pot left on the stove was apparently the culprit and uh, didn't take long, though, for firefighters to get there, fortunately. But that woman's son took matters into his own hands to get his mother out of that house. Local 4 was the first on the scene tonight, and Mara McDonald is there live with more. Mara? Good evening to you, Kimberly. I want to show you and Devin something. You see this mess down here. This was the point of origin of this fire. It started in the basement. Now take a walk with us and go a little slow because firefighters doused this entire house with water. So it's a sheet of ice and I'd like our chief photographer not to end up with a cracked skull. That was the point of origin, but this was the point where everybody was concerned, where an elderly woman was trapped in her bed and not able to get out of her home. Outside, Detroit firefighters got to the house fast to combat this. Inside, in the basement, somebody left a pot on the stove, and that single pot caused all of this. When Detroit firefighters arrived... The fire that was blowtorching out the side window. But before firefighters and EMS got on the scene, Danny Robinson was just coming home from work to the home he grew up in, the home his elderly parents still live in. I just pulled up. Uh, my father was on the side of the house, he said the house was on fire. So the first thing I thought of was my mother. So I had to get her out of there. Robinson's elderly mom has Alzheimer's. There was no way she could get out on her own, and his dad wasn't able to carry her. Danny's adrenaline hit, and he started running and busted open a back window with his bare hands. I made sure I knocked the whole window out so uh, my mother wouldn't get cut coming out. Danny's neighbor helped him pull her out, and EMS arrived as they were in the process of getting her out. Tonight, she's at the hospital, expected to be okay. His dad is there, too, getting checked out. I'm fine as long as they out of there. We ain't worried about the house. Back here live, you can see that window, and you can see he wasn't kidding. He really did bust the glass out so that it is completely clear. Um, when I was talking to Danny, he had really um, scraped up his hands pretty badly, and EMS had wrapped them for him. And, I, you know, I asked him, I said, does it hurt? Are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital, too? And he's like, I don't even feel it. I'm just glad my parents are okay. We're live on Detroit's West Side tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.